Hey guys, so I've been forgetting all month of October to show off the Frankie poster that I keep talking about and um, a lot of times like on Snapchat I'll do something silly and uh, take a filtered picture uh, in the morning when I get up like with Frankie because it'll put like the eyelashes on him or whatever and filter him. Um, so I did that and I was like, oh yeah, I better show everybody because I, I meant to and happy day of the dead everybody. We are headed out to Indiana today, so, um, yeah. Excuse my hair, I just got out of the shower, and I believe I hear Mr. David looming at the bottom of the stairs, so he's probably wanting me to hurry up and get going. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I will check back in later and all, but I wanted to make sure to show you guys Frankie while I was home and up here, and we will check back in later. Bye, guys. So we're on our road trip and we uh, stopped to at Hardee's, which I'm pretty, I'm pretty excited about because this is like one of my favorite fast food places and we don't have them. We have like, what, like two in Michigan, at least in our side of Michigan, um, right? I only know of one in Holland and the one in Hudson. Yeah, so I, two, I mean there may be more, but as far as the ones we know of. And they're not like terribly close to our place. So we like to go when we see them like towards Indiana and stuff. But <laughs> this one we didn't have the best experience at the last time we came down here. So I had a great experience. <laughs> <laughs> we got to see all of the employees like arguing and there were two of them having a fist fight in the kitchen. <laughs> hope you were loud enough for that to be on camera. <laughs> well, you can always tell him. That's true. If you didn't hear him, he was, um, he's overjoyed at the fact that he got to see two people having a fist fight in the kitchen last time we were here. Um, if that were my restaurant, I would be mortified, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> that was my sole reason for choosing it this time. <laughs> oh, you didn't go because I like to go here. You, you went to hopefully see a fight. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> I guess this is his day. We're celebrating his birthday early, so maybe he can see a fight again. <laughs> Anywho, so this is our uh, this is our road trip eatery right now, and then we're headed to Sweetwater, the guitar place, <laughs> the music place. They have more than just guitars. So we will check back in with you guys later. We'll let you know if uh, if a fight breaks out and who wins. <laughs> well, we are back on the road towards Sweetwater. What city is Sweetwater in? Fort Wayne. In Fort Wayne, Indiana. And there is the beautiful scenery along the way. The leaves are finally changing. And uh, sorry, there was no um, fist fights in the kitchen to report. Tragedy. Yeah, I thought there was gonna be when that manager started getting mad when we first got there. She was mad at whoever she was mad at, but <clears throat> no such luck for David. Um, but yeah, so we're just kind of enjoying the view and uh, I have my shawl here working on that since David's driving. And I guess we will check back in later with you guys. Hopefully gonna hit up Joanne's on the way <clears throat> back if the mister will stop notice silence on his end <laughs> all right we'll check back in later guys see ya I'm just saying, this is like the only song that I really know. That's it. 
So we came to the Super Joann's on the way home and we don't have a lot of time um, because of the trip home taking a while from the guitar place that we went to. Um, I got David holding yarn for me. Isn't that sweet of him? <laughs> but um, I did want to show you guys. Like, So I don't have time to do a walk around basically is what I was going to say. But <laughs> if you guys need mandala yarn, they seem to have an overabundance of one particular color. Oh my gosh. There's two entire very stocked shelves. Like there's other colors, but <laughs> which color is this unicorn? Yeah. If you are in the need for unicorn, <laughs> I could probably hook you up if, uh, if you need me to um, help you out. <laughs> I can let you know where to score it. <laughs> I'm just saying. Anyway, um, yeah, we'll have to come down here and do an actual walk around, but we, we don't have time tonight. I'll show you what I picked up when I get home, but I will talk to you guys later. Bye. Ah. <laughs> hey guys, it's Heather the Crochet Witch. <laughs> did not mean to turn the camera on yet, but I did anyway. So, how you doing? <laughs> uh, so, I did a little bit of a vlog again today. Because <laughs> I can't stop now, for some reason. We went and celebrated Day of the Dead. <laughs> we really didn't. Um, I mean, we didn't do anything like Day of the Dead-ish. We, um recognize that it was Day of the Dead and Happy Day of the Dead, everybody. But um, we didn't do anything traditional this year. Um, we went because David's birthday is Saturday. I think I mentioned that already. And he'll be working <clears throat> and I'll be working. Um, we went to uh, Sweetwater down in Indiana. And I got him uh, I got him a pedal, like a guitar pedal that he wanted from down there for his birthday because he doesn't like to be surprised so he just I just let him pick out what he wanted um so, so you saw most of the events of the day um I got home and Damon wanted to go to Walmart and honestly I only went around what was left of the Halloween stuff while he ran for the item that he had wanted um that he forgot when we were shopping yesterday because uh a, I had already been out all day and I didn't really want to do anything in the store. And B, um, the one thing like I was having regret that I didn't get yesterday, they had these big ceramic bowls that were meant for like candy bowls, but they were heavy and they were um, a mummy. They were like in with like the Hallmark stuff. And I was like, I want that. And then I, I decided not to get it. And then I was telling David and Damon, I was like, well, I'm going to go take Damon to the store. And if they still have it, I do want it because it was big enough that it would fit like, like, um, the Burnett Plentifuls, like those big balls of yarn, it would have fit something like that. So it would have fit a huge thing of yarn. So I, I don't know. I just wanted it, you know, like a second, second thought kind of thing. And they didn't have any of them. So I was bummed, but I mean, it was my own fault for putting it back. Uh... And then for dinner, we were going to um, cook at home. Damon was actually wanting to cook tonight. And um, then while we were out, he decided that Culver sounded really good. So we got, I got a chicken sandwich. The guys both got burgers from Culver's. And um, that's been the day, pretty much. Um, I worked on my shawl which I have kept in my awesome Halloween bag from Azalea and let me show you how much I got done today on my trip I didn't actually end up crocheting on the way home because I got distracted watching some there was like crazy drivers out on the way home and then um when I wasn't like <clears throat> talking to David about them um I was texting with Dean since I didn't have to drive <laughs> so this is um basically on the trip down there is how far I got with that today but I mean it's okay like I'm not getting it I'm not like speed doing it or anything like that so my donut is immensely smaller in size now so I got that there <laughs> that's how much I have of it left and then I have the one more, and I have one on the way that Wool Warehouse has now shipped. I got the email this morning. So, 
but for once David said he thought it was cool like he really likes the pattern and the way it's coming out <clears throat> so that is how my shawl's coming out my newest shawl and we did end up stopping by Joann's and they did have a Halloween bag look how cute first of all look how huge this is holy cow <laughs> But it's cute too, right? They had that one, and then they had this little one. <laughs> so cute. So I got both of those. And um, I actually didn't get that much yarn because, um, partially because I don't need any of it. <laughs> and they didn't really have anything new. They look like they're going to have something new because they had a lot of like the, the middle row shelves that they keep open for new stuff. Those are almost all clear. So I was waiting. I figured, excuse me, I figured we could do a pretty good walk through on another day. We got there with like 20 minutes to spare, which kind of sucks because if you guys remember the last time I took you to Joann's, I was freaking out about that really cool pillow and I was going to get it. And then I didn't because I was like so worried about time and everything. Anyway, <laughs> um, the yarn I did get was... You saw David holding this, but I did find some more of the Demogorgon yarn, which is actually Bernat Symphony in the color Pomegranate Punch. It's this beautiful uh, white and red, and there's a little bit of like a brown color marled in with those colors. And it's the color, to me, I just said it reminds me of the Stranger Things Demogorgon a lot. Um, I found four of those, so I grabbed them because whatever I may not use, I really want some of these to go in um, the Stranger Things Mal that I run next year for a prize. Like, that won't be the entire prize, but I definitely want it to be part of the prize because I find it so Stranger Things-ish. And then the only other thing that I picked up, because I feel like I can never find enough of this color is also a Bernat Symphony in the color Autumn Maple. Look at those colors. Those are so Heather colors. Like it's just this beautiful um, browns, golds, oranges. There's a little tiny, tiny bit of gray like spun in there. They're so pretty. And I absolutely love this yarn, even though it is, I believe considered, a, it's considered a bulky five but I really do love this yarn. Um, it is 80% acrylic and 20% wool for anybody wondering. Uh, 7.9 ounces, which is 225 grams, 309 yards, which is 282 meters. And where were you made? Made in India. So that is the Burnett Symphony yarn that I got today. <clears throat> That's actually all that I ended up getting. So, yeah, that has been my day today, you guys. Um, I know, I know, um, I said I'd, I'd like to do all these like all the time. <laughs> I have probably won't end up doing them like every day or anything, but uh, I wanted to do it today because we were doing like a trip and it's still my vacation. So I thought it would be, you know, fun to take you guys along for the little bit that I did film. Uh, David took a ton of pictures. I didn't take that much like video or anything, but I took a little bit. <laughs> um, but yeah, so it was a good day. It was a fun day. And I have one more day of vacation left and then, and then it's back to work for me. Yay. <laughs> so on that note, I will let you go. Hopefully you will be seeing me again before the weekend. And hopefully I will see you again before the weekend. <laughs> so I will talk to you later, guys. I love you. Bye.